in this lecture we'll be discussing about which is one very famous editor we called it as a vi editor now what is the purpose of this vi editor so whenever you want to create a file or you want to open a file whenever you want to create a file or open a file on that time we are going to use this vi editor in normal windows operating system you may have heard about notepad plus plus again this is also one software which will be helping to create a new file or if the file is already exist you can make some changes to that file likewise in all the operating system of linux or unix you will find this vi editor which is already been installed you don't need to install again it is already available in all the linux operating system and unix operating system so we got to know like what is the vi editor now next thing is how we can use this vi editor let me take one example i am opening to the machine let me log in one more time okay let me clear the screen by pressing command clear vi let me create one file test.txt you can give any extension it is just a file i am pressing enter now when i am opening this file first of all it will check whether this file is already exist in that path or not if it is already exist it will open that file if it is not exist then it will create a new file now next thing is i want to insert some lines in this file how to do that so there are basically two modes are there for vi editor one is command mode and second mode is insert mode insert mode can be enabled by pressing i you just press i button and insert mode will be open the purpose of the insert mode is to add a line whenever you want to add or you want to update the file that time we are going in insert mode and once we added a line or once we update the file now it is a time to switch back to the command mode by default it will open in the command mode and then we can go inside the insert mode to update something and after that command mode will help you to save the file or close the file let me show you how you can use the vi editor vi then the file name that you want to create let's say i'm giving test file.txt enter here i want to insert some data so i'll press i to go into the insert mode now i am going to add some line this is test line my work is completed now i want to save this file so i need to come out of the insert mode for that press escape and then save the file to save the file we have a command colon wq and press enter done if i open a same file press enter i can see the same content because vi editor what it will do if the file is not available it will create a new file if the file is already available it will open a existing file so we got the file let's assume that i want to insert few more lines so i'll go into the insert mode currently i am in command line mode i'll press i to go inside the insert mode and let me add something then escape colon wq to save the file let me do that colon wq wq should be in small letter done if i open this file one more time i can see the content over there let's say i inserted one more line then i realize like okay i made some mistake okay i don't want to save it what i will do escape colon q is the one and exclamation mark without saving a file we are just closing it we are not saving the content if i open the file i don't see that content which i added 
which I have not saved here. Likewise, there are multiple commands are there in the VI editor, which can be used as a shortcut. So this is a VI editor cheat sheet is there. There are multiple commands are there, which you can use. Like, let me tell you one example. Let's say you want to delete one line, delete a current line. So what I will do, I will open and DD is the command. So I'm going here right now. I'm in the command mode. So I'll just press DD. You can see the current line got deleted. If you want to do undo, then press U for undo purpose. Likewise, we have multiple different different commands are there uh, around hundreds of commands are there in V editor. We can understand that each and every commands cannot be remember, but yes, we can Google it. So basic intention to understand V editor, how it is working. So V editor is for to opening a file for editing purpose. Thank you.